Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Today I'm going to be doing just a short little video, a pen cup tour. I got a couple comments about my pen cup in a video maybe a month or so ago and I thought I haven't done like a pen collection video. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So let's take a look. I'm not going to be giving you a full desk tour today, um, but you see this is my computer monitor, which I'm not showing you much of because I'm working from home today. Um, this is the microphone that I use for most of my recording. Um, right now I'm using the lav mic that's attached to my uh, camcorder, but this is my Blue Yeti. Um, I have done a desk tour fairly recently, and so I will link that in the corner and you can go see the full desk tour because I haven't cleaned it all today and I'm just going to show you these pens. So this pen organizer, um, I will try to find the link to it on Amazon and link it below. It's the same one that Cindy Gunter Balto uses or used. I haven't watched a lot of her videos recently so I don't know if she's still using it, but the last I checked when I picked it up, um, she was using it sat on her desk. So you can actually lay it so that like this is the desk and you're sitting on that side and it's like tilted towards you. I have it mounted on the wall because it also comes with wall mounts. And um, so I, I like that it has different sizes and stuff. I like that it's, you know, kind of cute. I like the white, you know, goes with pretty much everything. Um, some of the, it's a little bit shallow. So like it works really great for some of these. Like it works great for these ones and these ones, but these Tombow Twin dual uh what are they called these are called tombow you know the ones the dual tip brush pens i only have a few of them um and they're a little bit long so they will constantly fall out if i'm not very careful the same thing with my crayolas here but um let's go through i'll show you everything that i've got and tell you i guess a little bit about them so yeah we'll start with the tombows these are the same ones that everybody's got um like I said, the, the dual brush pens. Um, I don't use them a lot. I think they're a little bit big. Like I am in a pocket planner, as you know. And so I don't use a big brush pen a lot. I would use this for like practicing lettering. But lately I have been more into these guys, which are the Zebra Mild Liner brush pens. I've been using these a lot if you're over on my Instagram, uh, link below in the description then you'll see that I've been doing a lot of brush lettering practice and I think getting a little bit better. So I got the full 15 color set as a Christmas gift and those live here. Right next to, on this side, I have the normal, like the original Zebra Mild Liner highlighters. Um, and so I have some duplication in colors. I will often use these ones just because I have more of the colors and you can still get like a highlighter effect even though it's a little bit more like artsy and less precise, but I still use these a lot. And then in here also is one friction highlighter, uh, which I got from like the Japanese store, the mall one time. I like the pale yellow, but it's it sits on top of the paper. It kind of smudges um, the other friction pens that I would write over. And so generally I, uh, I don't use it as often. These ones are my friction colors and I love these. Um, these actually mostly get used lately for my toddler because she loves the fact that she's allowed to use markers to color because uh, normally I wouldn't just hand her like a Crayola washable because yeah, it says washable but still um, obviously not like a Sharpie. She has used a Sharpie once or twice to mark up a pen, uh, sorry, a gift and I told her these are very serious pens. <laughs> So um, she gets to use these when she's sitting next to me if I have to have her here while I'm working from home lately um, or something like that. If she wants to color in my office, she'll get to use these. These are my Stabilo 0.88 fine liners. I got a big set of these. I don't even know how many, but I use these all the time. Um, I have a couple of them in a cup on my desk here. Um, I've got the red one that I'm using for my color red for the month and I have a red uh, zebra brush pen. So those stay like in the cup next to me. Um, but yeah, this is like the whole full color set and they're just easily accessible, which is great. Um, in the middle here, I've got some, uh, what even are these? Uniball Signos. The white one I think still has some juice. 
I think the silver one is pretty much gone and I need to replace a couple of these if I want them. But these are gel pens. So I've got the three Signos, gold, silver, and white. And then I've got a couple of jelly rolls that I got as a present from my cousin, which is super sweet of her. Um, they're sparkly, which is fun. So these get used like for special occasions. Uh, this one here probably belongs up here, actually. Um, this box has all of my um, like everyday kinds of pens. So these are like all the refills mostly for my um, Friction 05s. And there's a few different colors because like I'll take the the blue insert out. Sorry about my computer. I'll take the blue insert out and stick the black insert inside the pen barrel to use that. So that's what's in here. <laughs> and then I also have my, you know, now every day I've been using the Muji gel pen in the 05 and that's my everyday pen. So this is a spare one up here. Um, up here, this is a pen case from Daiso. This is a little, what is it called? Like a Minusco wand or it's like a little, little miniature wand that I got from Olivan's wand company a long time ago for cosplay stuff. This is uh, River Song's Sonic, Scru Sonic, Scru Sonic Screwdriver, also for sort of cosplay purposes. How does this even work? I forget. There we go. And then this is where my Crayolas are. I've got um, some of the fine tip markers and some of the colored pencils, and I barely ever use these. For one thing, they also like the Tombow's fall out of the cup if I try to pull just one out. Um, also, like I'm not sure right now where my uh, pencil sharpener is, and several of these are broken. I think I might only just have an eyeliner pencil sharpener. <laughs> So obviously these don't get a lot of use and they just sort of are there and they're pretty. Um, I feel like you should have some Crayolas in your collection, but I don't use them a lot because I have other things now. And then the final cup is a bit of a mess. I've got a couple more everyday type pens in here. I've got this uh, Stedler eraser. These are nice precision erasers. I got a whole set of multicolored um, microns as a Christmas gift. So those are in here couple sharpies um, oh these are the um, Tombow Futenazuke brush pens they're a finer tip so these work better for my pocket planner than the giant twin ones um, and then let's see what this is just a ballpoint with a uh, stylus on the end a couple of like general ballpoint pens that I used for a while oh and there's some white out in here I didn't even realize I have one pen gems that I got as a like little freebie tossed in with a something I bought off Facebook marketplace and it doesn't fit in my pen loop so generally other than the microns this is just kind of miscellaneous stuff I don't use that much well I guess in the the brush pens too so I keep things sort of organized in some cases and less in others <laughs> But this is my pen collection and that's pretty much everything I have is up here. There's a couple of like Sharpies somewhere else in the house and then there's general pens just kind of I think by the front door where we keep the junk mail. Um, but yeah, this is what I've got. So thank you for joining me for the tour. I hope that this was something interesting for you. Um, if it was, please do feel free to comment below. Let me know if there's anything else in my collection you'd like me to go over with you. I don't know. I haven't done a washi collection. If you're interested in that, let me know. Um, and that's all I've got for you today. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.